Atlantic's Niall Peterson is a district champion here today, back at the state tennis tournament in singles. How's it feel to be going back to Waterloo? Awesome. That was my goal at the start of the season, to be back in Waterloo. Just kind of describe each match round by round and uh, who you faced, how you came out, how you played against each particular opponent. Um, first round was uh, Red Oak 6. He was, he was decent. And I had never even seen him before, first year player. He was good. Second round was uh, Creston's one. I had beaten him already this season, so I wasn't too worried. And uh, third round was Corey Rogers from Clorinda. He's good. He, uh, he played really well in the first set. And it was 6-4, uh, 6-1. Six, six, and then the, <laughs> the championship game was 6-0, uh, 6-0. Six, oh, six, oh. <laughs> Well, yeah, we know in, in the finals there you faced Grant Sturm, your teammate, and uh, after he had just played a couple back-to-back -back really long matches. What can you say about the tournament he put together to go from, uh, at one time, the number six singles player to now a state qualifier? Yeah, it's unbelievable what he did. That's really, really a good job from him. He uh, unseated and makes state. That's good. So you're heading back to the state tournament once again. What did you learn from the experience up there last year that's going to help you this time around? Uh, well, I have to have to hit it harder. Last year I kind of just dinked and dunked, and that didn't work out so well. So i got to put some more power on the ball. Is that usually a strength of your game? Kind of describe your playing style and what, what are some of your strong suits. Uh, this year, yeah, it's been power. If you leave a ball short, I like to put it away with my power. And uh, last year I didn't really do that. What are some things throughout the course of the season that you've been proud of that you've accomplished in your in your whole body of work? Um, well, making it to state—that's one. Uh, getting second at conference, and uh, just playing well each and every day. Do you like when you face an opponent you've seen before? Do you? make a lot of adjustments? I mean, is there much scouting that goes into it or just trying to uh, improve what you do? Bit. There's a little bit of scouting. Like, I like to watch my opponent before they play and then see what their strengths and weaknesses are and kind of adjust my game like that. The team is advancing to play tomorrow. Uh, you'll take on Norwalk at home. What were maybe some of the key matches that helped you guys in the team race and kind of describe where, where you guys hope to go from here? You mean tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, well, I think with I think that we can beat them at the bottom of our lineup, so that'll be key. And uh, then in dubs, we gotta win probably two and three dubs, and yeah, just win four, five, and six singles, and two and three dubs, and win five, four as a team. What kind of off season of work did you put in in tennis? And when you talk about Put more power on your shot. Is, does that come with a lot of work in the weight room or just more time on the court? Uh, more time on the court. I have a ball machine and I like to hit off of that. I just hit about as hard as I can every time off of that. All right. Thanks a bunch. Good luck at State. Thank you.